The Grade 1 Daily News 2000 is a good indicator as to the class of our classic crop of three-year-old colts, but perhaps more importantly, whether one of them can go on and win the Hollywood Bets Durban July in their next run. The market reflects their dominance, filling five of the top ten places on the Hollywood Bets Durban July log. But what's most appealing is that all five line up here, including ruling favourite See It Again. Winners of the World Sports Betting SA Classic and SA Derby in Anfield's Rocket and Son of Raj. And top three-year-old finisher in the World Sports Betting Cape Town Met, Cousin Casey. With Cape champion Charles Dickens having given the race a miss in favour of the upcoming Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge, a strong line of form can be found in the World Sports Betting Guineas with See It Again, Dave the King, Cousin Casey, East Coast and Anfield's Rocket all having run. Let's take a closer look. See It Again won the Grade 1 Splash Out Cape Derby over 2,000 metres at the end of February. See It Again got there. See It Again beat Charles Dickens without question and then came at by command. Charles Dickens returned the favour in the World Sports Betting Guineas in KZN. See It Again was finishing strongly and will once again enjoy the extra 400 in trip. Michael, how has he taken his last run? Very well, I'm very happy with him. His condition is good, he's, 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 uh, he's fresh and uh, you know he's in good form. Well, it's a small field. Um, the draw, I'm not really that concerned about the draw seven. You know, he, you know, he's a horse that comes from behind. And, um, you know, we're just hoping for a nice, clean race. You know, I'm not really that much concerned about pace. Uh, you know, if it's, you know, don't think it'll be a crawl. But, I mean, you know, he's got a nice turn of speed, as everybody knows. So, I mean, uh, you know, so, you know, so long we get a nice, clean run race. That, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more concerned about that, to be honest with you. Without question, was two and a half lengths behind See It Again in the Splash Out Cape Derby. The Justin Snaith runner is progressive, having won the Grade 3 World Sports Betting Variety Club Mile at Kenilworth prior to travelling up to KZN. Without question, a full of value win. Without question, is in very good form at home. Everything has gone to plan. I do think he'll give a very good account of himself on Saturday, although it is a strong field with some big Hollywood Durban July contenders, but no better horse to come to the fight with than a horse like without question. With his current form, he will be right there. Last season's Equus champion, Cousin Casey, may have only gone the 2,000 metres once, but his run was exceptional when less than two lengths behind Jet Dark in the World Sports Betting Cape Town Met. Cousin Casey's trying to get to it with Jimmy Since Dark, arriving in KZN, his two runs have him on track. We're very, very pleased with his uh, prep. This has always been his prep. Um, yeah, I mean, his first run, great run, when he gave six kilos, then got beat a short His second run, I wasn't disappointed with the, uh, the run. He got beaten two lengths. It was his second run after break. And he, as I said early on, I was a little bit worried about beating Charles Dickens and getting a, a, a more weight. He's already carrying a fair weight in the, in the July. Now, this is our race for the taking. Our, this is the one I really would like to win. Um, it's the first time in his career he's cracked a draw. We usually draw nine and above. So to get one, it was like we were fly jumping, so that's very exciting. Grant was here this morning, um, did some pace work with him. It was his final bit of prep work. We were very happy with him. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lovely race. There's some, some really interesting three-year-olds there, but uh, we got our boy Cherry right. His work was good this morning. Um, you know, he's feeling good. Um, obviously, his last run threw me off a little bit, um, but I'm hoping he, he brings A game to the course. And I hope Cotton also brings his A game because <laughs> I'll be bringing mine. He's a real good horse to ride. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be sticking with him if I didn't think he's got ability. So, yeah, it would be nice to have a winner for Ravi Naidu. It's, uh, he's a proper gentleman and, you know, I'm sticking with his horse. Felt good this morning. Um, so, yes, just uh, fingers crossed. I'm hoping. In January, Dave the King ran second to Royal Aussie in the World Sports Betting Gold Rush, finishing ahead of its reigning William, who has since come out and franked that form. Dave the King comes up to Southern Skies now. He it's then Southern won Skies. a sprint up in April. In business, but Dave the King makes a good debut performance here, I felt.
before being in the mix in the World Sports Betting Guineas in KZN. And in came Dave the King and Cousin Casey. He's not won past the 1200 and goes the 2000 for the first time. Son of Raj won the Grade 1 World Sports Betting SA Derby in his last start. And Son of Raj, full value for a huge win. He's no stranger to Hollywood Bets Gravel, having started his career in the province. I think draw eight is not a bad draw. It's a type horse that obviously will come from off them. Quite happy with Muzi riding the horse at this stage. He's been doing a bit of work on him. So, so far, all going well. Yes, he won the derby in Joburg, so 2000 won't be uh, an issue. I managed to gallop him. What a smashing horse, galloped uh, amazing. But uh, Mr. Mount did uh, phrase to me that he's looking for him to peak in the, for the July. He doesn't feel like he'll have him spot and on his on his peak for the uh, for the daily news. But uh, we're going out boxing, and uh, but his main mission is the July. Shoemaker ran second to Anfield's Rocket in the Grade Three Allard Steel Road Graham Beck Stakes, and second again this time to Union Square in the Grade Two Johnson Workwear Dingons, having then finished down the field in his next three graded race outings. He found his confidence again, winning a graduation plate over 1,600 last time out. As the third of Mike de Kock's runners, Shoemaker will jump from the widest draw of all. Aldo Domeo rides him for the first time. Seen winning a graduation plate over 1,700 metres in October, East Coast then recorded two graded stakes places when less than a length behind litigation in the Victory Moon Stakes. Litigation beat East Coast! And one and three quarter lengths behind Union Square in the Johnson Workwear Dingons. He's not made the frame in his next three races, but looks to have had a good prep in the World Sports Betting Guineas last time out. I think you're going to get the best version of him. Uh, Joburg, uh, he was sick in all three legs of those races and uh, he wasn't himself. And like you said, his last run was probably eye-catching. He got done on the rail and uh, he still managed to make up a little bit of ground. So he's also that's going to stay the 2000. Uh, whether he's good enough or not, we'll find out. But uh, he looks to be in a better space now. Anfield's Rocket won the Grade 1 World Sports Betting SA Classic in March. Anfield's Rocket stays on, Anfield Rocket beat Jimmy Dunn. He's since run two lengths behind Trip of Fortune in the Wait for Age HF Oppenheimer Horse Chestnut Stakes. Anfield's Rocket big run third. And was running on from the back of a strung out field in the World Sports Betting KZN Guineas last time out. Well, I think he was a little bit too far out of his ground. He... It took a long time to, to make up his ground up this straight, but, uh, but he had a good finishing time. And uh, I just think if we can get him halfway into the race, then we'll give him more of a chance, opportunity of winning the race. He's going to have blinkers for the first time, just to help him concentrate a little bit. Um, it's not to try and have him handy in the race, it's just to be able to help him get into the race a little bit more. And obviously Louis is going to be riding him this time, and hopefully we can get into halfway in the race. and. Uh, yeah, let's hope he finishes off the race well. Well, I think uh, uh, the draw is going to help him. Draw five is a good draw. There's only 10 runners in the race. Uh, um, I, I, I wouldn't be concerned about the distance. He's won an 1800, a turpentine, which is a tough 1800. So he should get an easy 10 furlong at Gravel. So I wouldn't concern about the trip. But obviously, the pace will be the most important part. But I think he's a kind of horse that's got a good turn of foot. And if he's not too far behind, I, I wouldn't worry what kind of pace it is. Street Art has won three from eight, including his first outing on the Highveld for his new stable. He's progressive, but takes a big step up in class here. Street Art from Jet Dynasty, but Street Art, Street Art gives a beautiful kick and a win going away. He's in a good space, he's doing well, he's come on a lot from his first run with the yard which he knew won. We thought he would need the run a bit that day, so he's improved a lot after that. He's He's coming to hand quite nicely now. Whether he's up to this class at this stage is yet to be seen, but I think as time goes on, he, he, he's going to get to that level. I really think he's a nice, smart horse, and um, we're taking our chances, but we're quietly confident of a bull train. The lightly raced River Romeo has won two from six. 
including his last start when going 2,000 meters. Like street art, he takes a big step up in class, but will also relish the trip. And River Romeo for Manu Pandaram has gone on to score by four. As a natural front runner, having gone to the head of affairs in the last four of his six starts to date, he could very likely make the pace come Saturday. Sereno Mudley rides him for the first time. What do you make of the quality of the field? Well, I think it's the best we've got in the country. So, I mean, uh, you know, uh, we've got to come to our A game. You know, the only horse is, you know, it's not there. It's obviously, you know, the horse that beat us last time, you know, Charles Dickens. But uh, no, you know, all the top three olds are there. So obviously, you've got the standouts like Cousin Casey. Uh, he's still got to prove that he stays a real 2,000 metre race. And uh, it's competitive. You've got Group 1 winners like Son of Raj. Uh, he's probably looking for a little bit of further, but... Uh, I think it's a quality race. I was quite impressed with uh, Mike de Cox. Was, um, I liked the way he rounded off. I looked at the times and sectional timing and he did some low flying towards the end, uh, east coast. I thought that's quite impressive. Um, uh, Dave the King, uh, um, it's going to be interesting to see if he, he stays at 2000. I think that's going to be whether or not they go July or not. Whoever wins the Daily News must have a huge chance in the Hollywood Best Durban July.